Nice launch trajectory countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. You're watching the 52nd Starlink mission and SpaceX's 31st mission in 2022. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicles or spacecraft. Weather is currently a watch item, but we are proceeding with a T0 of 10.20 a.m. Eastern Time. Currently, the range is green, and we are ready to support an on-time liftoff just under th uh, four minutes from now. And in preparation for liftoff, we are standing by for transporter erector retraction. With that call out, just at T uh, minus two minutes, 45 to go. The first stage is fully loaded with RP-1 and liquid oxygen, and we're awaiting completion of liquid oxygen load on the second stage that'll complete around the T minus two minute mark. Two locks are complete. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with propellants, about a million pounds of both RP-1 fuel and liquid oxygen. Ground gas close up. Today's flight marks the 13th for this particular booster, and we'll be attempting to recover it again on our drone ship, which is positioned in the Atlantic off the coast of Florida. Falcon 9 is in startup. Ignition, 
and lift off of Starlink 422. Stage one, chamber pressure is normal. Vehicle's pitching down range. is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. The vehicle is through the highest point of pressure it will feel during flight, also known as maximum dynamic pressure. Just under a minute to main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, second engine, and main engine cutoff, stage separation, and then second engine start number one. Separation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And today's flight marks the third for these fairing halves and the 50th overall mission to use reflown fairings. We will be attempting to recover both those fairing halves again to use on a future mission. On the left-hand side of your screen is the first stage deploying its grid fins in preparation for entry. The right-hand side is the second stage carrying our Starlinks to orbit. You can see the speed holding steady on the first stage as we're on our trajectory back towards the Atlantic Ocean. Speed increasing on the second stage as we bring both the Starlink satellite and the second stage into the orbit. Next major milestone for the first stage is the entry burn that will start in about two minutes from now. That burn lasting just about 20 okay, seconds.
Welcome. If you're just joining us, you're watching SpaceX's Starlink mission. This is our 52nd Starlink mission overall. Starlink is currently live in around 40 markets around the world. If you want to find out more, you can check out Starlink.com. On the left-hand side of your screen is our first stage, making its way back to planet Earth, which you can see in the background. And on the right-hand side is our second stage's Merlin vacuum engine, taking our Starlink satellites to orbit. Vehicle remains on a nominal trajectory. Stage one, FTS has saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. The first stage, also called the booster, has ignited three of its Merlin 1D engines to slow itself down in preparation for atmospheric reentry. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Second stage burn continuing to look nominal. Stage one is transonic. You can see the speed rapidly decreasing on our first stage on the left-hand side of your screen in the telemetry. Next major event for the first stage will be the landing burn around 15 seconds Terminal from guidance. now. Stage one, landing burn, startup. Stage two, FDS has saved. Call out from the teams of successful landing burn startup. Lighting just one Merlin engine in preparation for landing on Stage our drone. Stage one, landing leg, deploy. Heard confirmation from the teams that the landing Stage one, legs landing deployed. And confirmation of landing. There was also a call out there for second engine cutoff. So just in order here, this is the 124th landing of the Falcon 9's Second first stage. Cape. 52nd Not overall Starlink mission. 31st launch of this year. And there were some additional call outs there that we have completed second engine cutoff number one, and we are in a nominal orbit. So that means that the second stage has carried those 53 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Now this last year, SpaceX completed 31 missions in total, and with successful payload deploy of our Starlink satellites, Acquisition of signal, Newfoundland. we'll have achieved the same number of missions this year, and it's only July. We want to thank you for watching and be sure to check out our social media platforms for confirmation of Starlink deploy.